The breaking news in the last hour regard, uh, related to Hamish McLaren, the man who swindled more than $7.5 million from 15 people. He's been sentenced to a maximum of 16 years in jail. Let's cross live now to Caroline Marcus outside the court in Sydney. Caroline, what did the judge have to say? Well, Chris, uh, the uh, gallery, which was filled with Hamish McLaren's victims, broke out in applause as the judge, uh, Colin Charteris, uh, handed down his sentence, a maximum of 16 years, as you said, and a non-parole period of 12 years for the now infamous con man. Uh, he has pleaded guilty. He pleaded guilty last September, in fact, to 17 fraud offences. Uh, they carried a, a maximum of 10 years and 15 years imprisonment. So this is quite a hefty sentence, this 16 years that has been handed down today. He was given a 25% discount on his sentence due to his early guilty plea, but the judge described his conduct as merciless. He defrauded his victims, which included girlfriends and good friends, out of more than $7 million over a period of six years. Uh, one couple lost more than a $1 million their entire life savings. Another of his victims was the fashion designer Lisa Ho. She lost more than $350,000. In handing down his sentence today, Judge Charteris said that he did not believe that Mr McLaren had any remorse and that he was only sorry to find himself in his current predicament. He's had absolutely no compassion for the victims. How, if one could be asked, he could stand by and see people draw down their super life superannuation funds to be given to him. Uh, his behaviour is the most reprehensible one could imagine, having regard to offences of this nature. Chris, uh, this a story involving Hamish McLaren has been the subject of a popular podcast by the Australian newspaper called Who the Hell is Hamish? That has been downloaded now more than five million times. Uh, Mr McLaren uh, was uh, making notes during this uh, sentencing today. He did not appear to make any eye contact with his victims who filled the gallery. As I said, they broke out in applause when the judge handed down his sentence. Uh, Mr McLaren will not be eligible for parole until July 2029.